All right, we are actually going through the mountains to uh, Grand Junction. Rocky Mountain National Park is to the right here, but we're not going to it today. I've decided to bypass it because it is kind of cold over here. And my wife and I are um, Floridians who don't feel like freezing today. So we're gonna bypass it to save ourselves a little bit of time and reset our schedule so that we can actually enjoy our time in the desert, which is our next stop. And, uh, we, well, Grand Junction is not in the desert, obviously. Grand Junction is still in Colorado. But it's on the corner, you know, the southwest, I guess, uh, the northwest side of uh, Colorado. So we're going to go there and um, relax, check in, relax. And then the next morning, we're going to do the desert, which is going to be um, Arches National Park. But meanwhile, this ride is just amazingly spectacular. Riding through the mountains and, you know, it's just so beautiful out here. Those of you who have never traveled across the United States, if you get the opportunity, you've got to come out here to the west and go through these mountains. Now, I myself get a little nervous on those little tiny mountain roads, which are two lanes, with a cliff right along the side, although some people get a thrill out of riding on those. And I know we're gonna encounter those kind of little roads when we hit arches, so I'll be driving those, but always when I do them, I'm like white knuckled, you know? It's not something I do all the time, but it is something that I think is worth doing just for the experience and also to see the, the beauty, you know, the area. Sometimes when you want to see something, you have to kind of get out of your comfort zone and uh, be willing to do something like drive on that little ledge, you know, despite being petrified. <laughs> Anyhow, my camera is actually out of storage. I've got to download all these videos I've been shooting. I haven't been able to do the updates regularly because we have been on the road pretty much every day. So I'm gonna end this recording because the memory's like full, but I just wanted to give you a quick update as we head into Grand Junction which I hope that I'll be able to have some time to actually get a lot of these videos processed and uploaded and get us somewhat caught up. But I want to thank you all for tuning in. I want to remind you that um, one of the joys of traveling is that uh, you know if you can budget yourself and plan for this, if you live in a van, you could save a lot of money by just sleeping in the van at various locations and um, you save hotels, but you also have a convenience factor because you can kind of stop almost when you get tired, you know, where, where you are. One of the hassles I've had and one of the things that hurt us here is because I had to pre-plan everything, I had to pre-book the hotel rooms, and that's put us on a, um, a somewhat fixed schedule as to where I have to be, and it causes a little bit of a, a stress factor. Because you're like, man, we can't stay here an extra day because we booked the hotels and everything has been set up to go in a certain sequence. And you've got to arrive by a certain time. You've got this uh, schedule of what you're supposed to do. Whereas if you're traveling in a van and you just make a general plan, you have the flexibility of saying, you know what, we're going to stay an extra day or we're going to cut this day short. Whereas my hotels are booked for certain days and i got to show up or I lose that. I can't, you know, the... It's like today or tomorrow, I can't cancel that late on a lot of these bookings. I would lose money. And I can't really afford it because I can't rebook it, you know. So that is one of the drawbacks of uh, traveling by car, although you get the benefit of lower gas mileage. This vehicle gets about, it's been averaging, I think, about 30 miles or more per gallon. Whoa, look at this dust. Jeez. That's actually, I think, sand or dirt being blown from the wind, not from a vehicle, but from the, the side here. I can see on the, uh, the, I guess it's the shoulder, blowing up. Wow, that was a lot of sand. Anyhow, this camera is getting full, so I'm going to go ahead and end the recording for now, but I hope you enjoyed some of this spectacular view as we drive through here. It is just such a vast change of scenery for me, you know, having been stuck in Florida for I don't know how many years, I guess the past eight years, this is my first real big major road trip other than my trip to these Smoky Mountains, 
or Blue Ridge Parkway, you know, um, when, when the hurricane came here, and I went to visit a friend up there in Kentucky. But this is the first time I've been out to the uh, west in such a long time, and I forgot, I guess, partially how amazing and how beautiful it really is out here. Everything is just so majestic and large, and um, it's kind of humbling in a way because you start to feel how small you really are as a human and how this is nature, and it is just so grand, so large, and awesome. Until next time, everybody, I hope you're having a good day, staying safe, staying warm wherever you are. I've actually had to wear jackets and stuff out here. It's gotten somewhat cold. You can see the snow there on the snow top. I mean, on the mountain tops. And I know in a previous video I said it was the uh, Smoky Mountains. This is actually the Rocky Mountains. We're over in Colorado. It is the Rocky Mountains, not the um, Smoky Mountains. Although we were in the Smoky Mountains just a couple days ago. You can hear the little four cylinders struggling here. Anyhow, take care everyone. Stay safe. God bless you all. Thank you for tuning in.